Hi everyone. I'm gonna wait a couple seconds before I start talking. <laughs> Hi. Okay, I'm gonna taste some coffee. Uh, uh, some of these recipes were extremely difficult <laughs> or it just takes some time um, uh, to get them perfected. But, hello. Um, so anyways, I have the, I have the list right here. I have the Cafe Perocci. I have the Vietnamese egg coffee, the spiced coconut caramel coffee, and the Oreo coffee milkshake. So I feel like I'm going to be on a really big sugar high um, after this is done. Someone said bun. I put my hair in a bun. It's long enough to put in a bun now. Anyways, good morning. Happy Sunday. Um, okay, so let's try these out. Um, I was going to possibly make them on camera too, but I'm glad I didn't because that was a mess. <laughs> I literally have like whipped cream and everything all over me. Um, I'm very sticky. Anyways, so this was the Oreo, I just called it the Oreo coffee milkshake because there was no name for it. Um, from, wait, from Station 19 Content. I have a list right here. Um, so happy birthday, Olivia. I caught it. Sometimes I don't catch it. I always want to say happy birthday. <laughs> okay, so Oreo coffee milkshake. I'm going to go through these and I'm going to pick my favorite one before all the coffee gets cold. Okay, I don't do dairy, so I switched it for um, oat milk whipped cream, which looks really sad, but it tastes good. Um, I've been eating Oreos for breakfast while I've been making this, and I don't think I added it. I think the milk needed to be colder because um, it it's not really frappy. Well, yeah, that's delicious. It's like a, It tastes like a frappuccino. And then I just want to eat all the Oreos on top. <laughs> it is really good. I definitely don't know if I'd call it like an everyday coffee. I would say this is definitely a treat. Like really, there's like chocolate syrup in it. Mm, it's so good though. Hi, Floyd. <laughs> Okay, I have to stop drinking that one and go to the next. So the next I'll do is the salted caramel. Um, it was the salted caramel. So, spoon, spiced coconut caramel coffee. And it smells delicious. Now this one had the option of doing like um, a cocktail version with Bailey's. So, I mean, I think you can try that. I'll get nothing done if I start the day off with Bailey's. I feel like Bailey's is always like a holiday treat. Um, so I'm gonna taste that. I sprinkled some coconut on top. This recipe was awesome because it made you make the caramel sauce yourself, which was a lot of fun. Uh, I kind of burnt the first batch, so I made a second batch. Um, but there's also a video online. I'll link to that recipe. And this one was from Aaliyah Ferrer. Ferrier? And anyways, okay, diabetes is calling. I know this is not an everyday thing. These are definitely treats, but I wanted to try something new and exciting. So I'm um, thank you for everyone for sending all your uh, recipe recommendations. Oh, that's good. That's good. This is something you could do, I think, a little more every day. I mean, maybe not as much caramel as I put in the cup. Who else loves caramel? I know somebody said coconut doesn't have a pleasant taste to them. I know a lot of, hi Ireland. I know a lot of people um, don't love the taste of coconut. I'm a fan of coconut. Um, coconut oil, coconut milk, coconut cream. I love all the coconut stuff. Mm, that's very good. Very good. More, I could definitely see that being more of a common, common drink. Um... Do I go to Sicily over the summer? I would love to go to Sicily over the summer. The problem is, is our break, I was just talking about this, our break is so short from filming that um, that it's like you kind of try to fit in as much as you can within that time. Um, and sometimes you can't fit in everything, but I would love to come to Sicily. I'm a fan of coconut too. Coconut's my favorite, yeah. I'm reading all this. Oh, Greek coffee, never had that before. Okay, this one is, before it gets cold, is the just the Cafe, Cafe Pedrocci? I love that I keep doing this to look behind to see the sign. Um, the Cafe Pedrocci, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Someone correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Ooh, uh, Sap, Sap, Hick, for, Forest, 
which, oh, sapphic forest switch. I'm going to get to that after she talked about working out. Um, what oat milk is the best? I don't know. I don't know the best brand oat milk. I go back and forth. I just try to make sure I look at the ingredients and that they haven't added much to it at all. Just pretty much as straightforward as possible. There's this thing that you can like, I've, I've seen, but I haven't done enough research on it where you can make your own nut and oat milks and stuff like that. And I think that'd be really cool to make it at home and then you know what's in it. But I don't have necessarily a favorite. Um, I use the almond, nope, nope, I use, oh, hold on, I'll tell you which one I use. <laughs> I use Blue Diamond for almond and Pacific Foods for cashew. Oh, where's the, oh. I think, oh, I think I threw it in the trash because it's empty. Um, I'll look it up and post about it. Okay, so this one's the Cafe Pitarochi and it's, Smells delicious. It's mint and it's got uh, cocoa sprinkled on top. Um, it smells so good. And it feels like something I could definitely do every day because it's light. Mm, that's really good. Mm. <laughs> I know. I was. I'm, it is going to get cold. It's not cold though. The coffee was really hot. really good it's simple and I like that and it kind of because of the mint I feel like it's refreshing um, and just the drizzle of but that's definitely something that my Italian friend <laughs> Stefani would probably like I don't know if she loves mint though but this is because she loves her espresso strong that still has like a very strong espresso uh, taste and this last one I for the life of me cannot get the condensed uh, milk and egg yolk to whip into like Peaks, couldn't do it. So please tell me what I did wrong. Um, yes, I need to try proper Italian coffee or cafe. Um, this is the Viet Vietnamese egg coffee. Vietnamese egg coffee? Vietnamese egg coffee. And I knew that was gonna be really good. It's just condensed milk and egg and like so good. Although I wish I could have gotten it to peaks. I wish it could have been fluffy. It's super sweet. The problem is, is they're all so different. One is like a full on ice cream treat. Another one is sweet, but well, I guess this one and the, um, the salted coconut, toasted coconut salted caramel coffee. I think is what it's called. <laughs> um, that uh, these two I feel like are the same level of sweetness when the Vietnamese egg uh, coffee. But the Vietnamese egg coffee I'd never heard of. And please tell me, what did I do wrong without um, whisking the peaks, the condensed milk into the peaks? I was really, for, I just kept whisking and whisking and whisking and whisking and nothing would happen. I was like, come on. <laughs> mm. So I don't know, which one's my favorite? Let's see, hold on. Go back to this one. You need a lot in the mixture. That must have been what it was. It called for only um, uh, four tablespoons of condensed milk, I think. But it felt like I needed more. And one egg yolk. Um, any recommendations, just please let me know. But anyways, um, my favorite, I think, would have to be... This is so hard. I mean... My favorite is the one you can't have every day. <laughs> My favorite, I think, is the Oreo milkshake. I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're all so good. I have to go with the Oreo milkshake. It's the Oreo coffee milkshake because I've had a million other types of frappe, uh, frappuccino style coffee drinks and I've never had a um, an Oreo one. So thank you for introducing me to that. But all these are delicious and I'll be making all of these. I love the homemade caramel from the coconut crusted uh, salted caramel coffee. And it was, so wait, I have my little post-its. I was like, don't forget. It was, thank you, Ella Ferre. I'm probably butchering your name and I'm sorry. I do have such a sweet tooth. Although I did use all natural Oreos. I don't think that makes a difference. <laughs> Back to nature, plant-based snacks. It says plant-based, but I'm not really sure what wasn't plant-based in Oreo to begin with, because I'm pretty sure Oreo creams are all just sugar. Anyways, thank you. Thank you, uh, Christine Tan, for the Vietnamese eggnog recipe. Thank you, Marsh Cat, for the Cafe Perochi. And uh, Station 19 content. 
Thank you so much for the Oreo coffee milkshake. I will be finishing that for sure. All of them I'm going to finish, honestly. I'm going to be so cracked out on coffee. Um, but I wanted to say thank you. This is so much fun. And then someone had brought it up earlier about workout workout routine. Well, I have this giveaway from another company, um, Threads for Thoughts, that I absolutely love because all of their stuff is uh, recycled plastics and sustainable. The workout clothes from recycled plastics. It's pretty amazing. And their stuff's actually really cute. So... I got some of their stuff to give as a giveaway. So I think what I'm going to do, I think, I haven't talked this through with Maddie and Maddie helps me like sort through my ideas and brainstorm is I think I'll do like some challenge where we all get to kind of do workouts like for a week straight together and kind of, excuse me. And, um, and from there, like, I don't know. I'm see, I'm brainstorming without talking to Maddie. This is when I get myself in trouble, but there will be a workout one and there is a threads for thoughts, like workout clothes giveaway that I'm going to love, um, to give away. Cause I do love that company. And this is the copper cow giveaway. So I'll be sending that to station 19 content and you want to see Ford Ford, come here, come here. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Hi, bubbles. Oh, you're getting, oh gosh, every time. It's just so big. Say hi. Oh, right on the mouth. Right on the mouth. Oh. Hi, boys. Anyways, can you say good morning to everyone? Yeah. Oh, right on the face. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I'm gonna finish the rest of this. I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, thanks so much for watching. This was a short one. And, um, I hope you guys liked Thursday's episode, our first episode back. Uh, it was pretty exciting. We were all kind of, um, that's a workout already. Lifting him it is. <laughs> 31 pounds now. Oh yeah. All over the face. Yep. 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 <laughs> Stop. Stop. It's so gross. Um, who's the better kisser, Stefania or Ford? I'm gonna have to say Ford. <laughs> that sounds weird. No, definitely Stefania. I don't kiss Ford, although he does give me wonderful kisses on my cheek. Um, how old is Ford? Ford is now. Let's see. How old are you now? Eight months. I think that's right. Eight months old. Yeah, because January 26 was seven months old, so he's now eight months old. Um, but yeah, see, bye bye. But thanks so much for being a part of this. I kind of love these giveaways. I hope you guys love them too. Um, I kind of like that I can give back and uh, promote some some brands that I really... He holds me like a baby with his paws on both sides. I'll say hi. <laughs> um, and promote some brands I really love. Like I said, Copper Cow is a woman-owned company. And this is not a, like a paid thing. I just love these companies. They have no idea I'm doing this. <laughs> And so I just, I'm happy to pass that on. And next will be, I think, Thread for Thoughts. I've got some great Station 19 gear as well. Um, your pup is nine months old and 50 pounds. I hope Ford doesn't get to 50 pounds. He did grow up very fast, too fast. Um, but he is still a baby, so he's definitely still growing. And he gets to play with his sister a little later today, so he's very excited about that. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for being a part of this. I can't wait for the next one. Uh, if I messed anything up or did anything wrong, maybe just uh, comment in the sections about um, how I should fix the recipe. Those, those, the Vietnamese eggnog peaks, I just could not master. But everything else was great. And yeah, so I'm rambling now. <laughs> okay, everyone, you're the best. Uh, I love you all. Hmm, can you say bye for <laughs> Every time I turn him to look right at you, he turns his face away. He's obviously not like his mother and is a little camera shy. Anyways, thank you all so much. Have a great Sunday, or it might be Monday, some places in the world. Um, have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for taking part. And again, congrats, Station 19 content. I will be drinking the rest of this and very hyper the rest of the day. <laughs> okay, love you all.